This is Frank and me, and we are super excited. Because we've just picked up the key to our new space. It's a 130 square meter unit divided into two floors. Right now it doesn't seem like much, but we have big plans. In this first part, I'd like to take you along on the building process of the upper floor. As with every home or office project, you start in IKEA. After 5510. A510. 5810. We wanted to move out of the other unit as fast as possible, so we put in the floor first. We could move all our stuff the next day. As you could see, we needed quite some material. The upper floor is roughly 60 square meters, so that is quite a lot. Hey, Karu. How are you doing? Day one is a rap burp. Productive day, man. They get with the ice cards. <laughs> As you can see, there's not much going on right now, but we are putting the floor in today. So um, we've got our assistant with us. Karuchi. Uh, it's going to be a happy day because it's, I think, about 60 square meters. We better get to it. Now, I don't know if you've ever put in a floor yourself, but it is a lot of work. It took a three-man team about seven hours to finish. The next day I went to the office quite early to finish the floor. While I was there, Frank went to the old office to load in desks and all the other stuff we needed in order to work. After I was done, I joined him to help and move everything to our new space and get settled. Hey. It's done. It's done, man. Eh? After we've moved everything to the new office, we started to paint. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's not the wisest choice to do painting after you've moved all your furniture, but we didn't really have a choice because we could only rent a van on that particular day. We painted everything, put everything in place, and suddenly everything came together. But there was one thing missing, lighting. All right, so um, I've got an LED strip here and I've got a transformer. This is a 200 watt uh, dimmable transformer. And these LED strips are 24 volts because it's a 10 meter LED strip. Um, 12 volts wouldn't be enough, especially because it's super bright. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it puts out 12,800 lux over tw uh, 10 meters. So that's quite a lot. So I'm going to fix it in the bar or like the U profile. Um, so it bounces up in the ceiling and it creates a nice ambience in the room. I've already done one. Uh, looks pretty bad because uh, there's a spot uh, spotlight on it as well because I need a little bit more light for working. But um, I think it's going to be really nice. Once these two are up, uh, it will be cool. So let's install it. I thought I would spend about an hour or two hours putting up these lights, but it ended up being more than six hours to put up the entire system. However, I'm super happy with how it turned out because the mood it leaves in the office is really, really nice. Thank you for watching part one. In part two, we're diving into the studio area and I can tell you, it is a lot of work. We zijn echt allebei dingen aan doen die we nog nooit hebben gedaan. Best wel grappig. Ah.